Okay, so God just blessed me um, to basically let y'all know that they had me in the back of the Montgomery County Jail in Cairo, Texas, and they were lying about my case. My baby daddy was attacking me, and I shot him in self-defense where I ran for help. There was people there. He ran me out of my house. There was people there seeing him attacking me. They were trying to help me, and they trying to kill me to cover that up because he's white. And I had my baby in my arms, and he was attacking my baby, too. So, and they were trying to help with that, too, and they still trying to kill me because they want to be racist and lie about the case, and that I was pregnant, and now I'm in this condition. So, um, they're trying to go through with murdering me and this baby and cover it up. And when they had me back there, I had a visitation from this man, who, a black man uh, with dreadlocks, and the black man had told me that he was the real one that shot Trayvon Martin and that uh, George Zimmerman did not shoot Trayvon Martin, but that it was a black man. And, you know, his daddy uh, got famous, Trayvon daddy got famous on this case because they pretended like they that he was not involved with the death of his son and blood sacrificing his son to, the, to Satan and the Satanic Illuminati. And then they blew up this trial in their hiding mind uh, because I was protecting myself and I'm black. And then you're setting your child up to be killed so you can be in the Masonic Brotherhood that served the devil and it required a sacrifice. And he sacrificed Trayvon and had another a young black male kill Trayvon Martin and shoot him. Uh, and then, well, I don't know how they, he said he, he was the one that killed him. And they had a black male kill him and then tried George Zimmerman in front of the world and made it look like black people be standing up for the per the blacks that's dying so you wouldn't know that they was the ones that were setting the blacks up to be killed. And then he joined the Black Freemason Brotherhood. These are the men that said they were rape that they that was trying to bring my baby in there at two years old into the jail and rape my baby with the uh, racist Conroe police, Cynthia Oviera, Joseph Austin, and my sisters and them was in on this shit. And they affiliated with the Black Freemasons and my sisters is going up as witches in the country, high Illuminati witches upon my, my death. Um, and so the Trayvon Martin part, this is what God blessed me because the black man let me know that he was the one who killed Trayvon Martin when they was trying to get the witness that was there at Baytown Seafood to change his statement. And they were trying to get him to say something else happened in the restaurant to try to give me 10 years, but they was holding me back there trying to blood sacrifice me and whatever baby I'm carrying. And they starved us and God had put his heel hand on me when they was trying to do the blood ritual on me and the baby. God, God let me see, they was trying to sacrifice me and my children so Austin, my white baby daddy, could become famous with like 20 million followers. And he got shot by the black woman that they killed and raped baby. They were trying to rape my little boy with thousands of inmates. So let me show you something else because God wanted me to show y'all this. And, um, uh, because they cut the water off. I've been in here for about 30 minutes. As y'all can see, I look much better. Um, they cut the water off as soon as I came in the restroom because they trying to make me look dirty. They, they said I was a mental patient when they was holding me back there lying. And when they were saying I was a mental patient, they had me in the back of the Montgomery County Jail in Conroe, Texas, lying about my case. And they had an investigator that um, had went and interviewed the witness. And the witness told him everything. His name is Jim McDougal that they was trying to hide. And they had me back there pregnant, bringing me trays with poison, talking about they doing witchcraft and ain't no Jehovah, denounce Jesus and poisoning my trays, saying I wasn't pregnant, giving me poison, drinks poison commissary, and then trying to murder me a lot and say I was never pregnant. And my family was in on this as, as part of the same blood rituals that like Trayvon Martin family did. And then they tried George Zimmerman and made it look like Trayvon Daddy did not have him killed. And then they put uh, Trayvon Daddy in the Black Freemason Brotherhood um, and it made his rank go up. And then they let George Zimmerman go because he wasn't the one who killed him anyway. It was a black man. 
So all the black people is trying to do it to me for my family. But uh, I, when my baby daddy had joined, uh, my daddy, baby daddy had joined this satanic coven and his mama was in it. And they tried to blood sacrifice me and my son. And that's what they trying to do right now. And he was attacking us and I shot him. And so my family is trying to blood sacrifice me on my mama's side, uh, the, the Marshalls and the Joneses. And I was pregnant by a white man and they still treating the country like slavery. Um, and I had Cardi B, light-skinned Latina, doing uh, witchcraft on me, trying to go through with a murder. Um, and Mulatto, trying to go through with a murder. Um, Nicki Minaj, trying to go through with a murder because all of them uh, was in on my death to have me killed for shooting this white man because when everybody found out about the shooting, they was like, oh, we got to kill her because she black. So lie about everything, say she's not pregnant, torture her in the back of the jail, and they was going to bring my baby in there and rape him in the jail. And they know that I'm t that I'm pregnant with the baby still from the jail, which will confirm that they did this. So anyway, let me get out of here. I've been in here for 30 minutes, um, and I want to, you see, I don't look the same way. That, ugh, it's disgusting what they doing. Um... She cut the water off. So, and I had charged my phone right here so I could tell y'all, and I'm about to go. It's not that they don't want me in the establishment. They didn't say I had to leave. I charged my phone outside. And so, you know, they say, what's up? Hey, how you doing? People try to act like they not doing nothing to the person um, because all the country is racist. They had all let me know, everybody. All the black people let me know that in order for them to get ahead, they acting like white women and they being racist and they helping set other blacks to be killed. That's why they going, that's why they getting higher and higher in the society and the white people like the, how they degrade one another because it's racism. Um, and then uh, all the Mexicans was, is racist. Um, God was showing me like a few Hispanic women that was willing to help me and these children. And he was showing me just like a handful of white people that was willing to help me and a handful of black people, but all the rest of them is setting me up. I want y'all to uh, watch me walk up out of here so they can't lie and say that Andrea was doing anything wrong um, in the restroom because they tried to have me arrested for this very same thing because in Atlanta, out of Dunwoody Perimeter Mall, because they were trying to make me look bad and set me up to be killed. And that's what Cynthia is trying to do right now. She's trying to get a, um, uh, uh, she, she's trying to get an order to say that I threatened to shoot her because she tried to bring my baby into jail and have thousands of inmates and racist men raping my child um, and with black Freemasons. And then it's upset because I made it out to jail with the baby alive in my body that she put a hit on. And she done went and got told these people that I shot her son and lied. They said I shot a family member and, and that he was my family member. He was my baby daddy that just got out of prison. How is that a family member? And running me up out of my house and the Conroe police got the evidence, but they know Jim McDougal got the evidence and Jim never turned the evidence in. So somebody who God was showing me, he could have turned it into because he knew that the police was hiding the evidence. And Jim said that Austin was afraid I was gonna kill him. And I was wanting to know why would Austin be afraid of me killing him when Austin was attacking me? It was because Austin was about to let the Illuminati bring my baby up into the Conroe jail and murder uh, me pregnant and lie it, and then he was gonna rape my child with the Cairo police so that he could be in the Illuminati and be a grand worshipful master because he got shot by a black woman and then I'm his baby mama and they was like okay well if you kill her for white supremacy and the babies and let us rape the children then we'll make y'all rich and let you be one of the highest white men in the country and he was gonna do it because he was mad but God stopped them but they ran me out of they ran me out of Conroe when they dropped the charges. The baby was still alive. Never did a trial. They had my family trying to set my child up to get raped and set me up to be killed because they was trying to say I was a mental patient while lying about the evidence. And I wasn't a mental patient. And after my family helped no lie about it, I called my family and told my family what happened. And my, uh, 
my sisters were saying they were gonna buy me out. But then Andrew, my dad, had gave Larissa and Shakina, who were Sh Sh Shanara and Shakina was saying they was gonna buy me out. And then Andrew had uh, heard about it, I guess. And Andrew gave Larissa and Shakina Cynthia's number, Austin's mother, the woman who has my child and was trying to bring him in there to be raped and trying to do the ritual on my pregnancy and got them chasing me around trying to send me up to be murdered. They, they called her and they put me in a psych ward and tried to say I was a mental patient. And there was all these 911 calls, and I was asking my sister, I called Larissa, and I said, Larissa, they in here trying to lie about, uh, trying to charge me for protecting myself. And I didn't know I was still pregnant yet because I had been bleeding, and they didn't give me a pregnancy test. And I was like, uh, Larissa was like, oh, well, they trying to say you don't make enough money. And I was like, what does money have to do with me protecting myself? Because it was my own, it was my apartment. But Joseph was helping pay the rent, and they was being racist, talking about uh, that, had, that, I, that they didn't want to release the evidence because I didn't have enough money to pay my own rent. That don't have nothing to do with it. It was my apartment. He was attacking me in my home. Just got out of prison and attacking my child. And then y'all lied on about the evidence and tried to murder me in the back of the fucking jail, pregnant and in the front of the jail. And y'all tried to bring my child in the jail to get raped by everybody. And then my sister gonna sit over here and say, oh, they trying to say, you don't, you, don't, you don't make no money. You ain't got no job. What does that have to do with racist people about to try to rape your niece and nephew, trying to rape your nephew and uh, kill your child or your granddaughter or your sister what do my income my rent was paid my rent was paid it was my home i never had a uh, late rent i never had a month where my rent wasn't paid shakina was living with vanessa she didn't even have her own fucking house and larissa child had just got taken by child protective custody and went to uh shanara house so why was y'all over there talking about money and not helping me get out that fucking jail and let them do this to me and my baby and now trying to let these people try to set me up like a fucking mental patient they was trying to do this out of jealousy then they called Cynthia, this white woman, and then got cool with my baby daddy and then decided that they were going to help cover up the evidence instead of buying me out and let them kill me pregnant in the jail and do a blood ritual on me. And I don't know what they fucking thought. I don't know what the fuck they thought. But I cannot, I'm done with y'all evil asses until y'all change because they watching my channel. Larissa is. And HPD, but first of all, Larissa, I'm done with my sisters. I'm done with all my family until y'all change until y'all stop doing wickedness to me. And my baby daddy is handsome and he is cute.